here see, see multiple inverse of 2 is 1 by 2 but 1 by 2 does not belong to z so therefore z with multiplication has a binary person is, a, is not a group next example 5 check whether n plus n with addition as a binary operation is a abelian group so here n with a set of all natural numbers so clearly it satisfies closure and associative property under the usual addition as a binary operation so 0 is the identity but 0 does not belong to n here set n is is also whole counting number so here the 0 does not belong to this set Hmm. So, also moreover for A belongs to N, we do not have this type of element A minus A is equal to 0. So, 0 does not belong to N. So, inverse of A is equal to minus A does not belong, to, there is no negative number. So, hence N plus is not a group. So, next example 6. So, that Q plus set of positive rational number is an abelian group where e star is defined by this. Hmm a star b is equal to a b by 2 for all a b belongs to q so we have to show that q plus q plus comma star is an abelian group and here a person binary person is defined by defined by this hmm, defined by this this relation by this relation a star b is equal to a b by 2 so, so here uh, we go to the solution of example 6 so here q plus is a set of all positive rational numbers so first uh, we see the closure property so clearly a star b is equal to a b by 2 so means any element we considered from the, this set set of all positive rational number so this relation will always satisfy if we take any element suppose we consider 3 and 2 belongs to q plus means 3 star 2 means 6 by 2 so this element will always belongs to q so you take any elements from q plus 2 so this relation is always satisfied so this means uh, closure property is satisfied next associative property so first we define uh, we find this a uh, bracket a star b is, is star c so a star b a b by c star c then after again applying this operation defined by this relation we will get a b c by 2 divided 2 is equal to a b c by 4 similarly we find this here also we get a b c by 4 so from this two relation we see that mm, this is equal to this so a and b their right hand side is same so associative property is satisfied so here you see this uh, property is satisfied so next you see uh, identity we find identity so we consider e be the identity element so then a star e is equal to a so for uh, existence of identity this condition must be satisfied So therefore a star e is equal to a so a star e is equal to e means a e by 2 is equal to a so this implies e is equal to 2 so here identity elements e is equal to 2 belongs to q so this is the identity element so next we find the inverse element so suppose this is the inverse element a to the power minus b the inverse of a then for inverse of element we must have this property a star b is equal to e is equal to b star e so already we find that uh, 2 is the identity element so a star a to the power minus 1 is equal to 2 this is the identity so after applying the relation a star a to the power minus 1 we find this relation and after calculation we get a inverse a to the power minus 1 is equal to 4 by a so this is the inverse element so inverse of a is 4 by a which is belongs to q plus so now we check the commutative property so for commutative we have this a star b is equal to 
b star a so a star b is equal to a b by, a b by 2 similarly b star a is equal to b by a by 2 so this also a by a b by 2 so this condition is satisfied so therefore q plus with binary operation e star is an abelian group so next we discuss example 3 here uh, set is the z beta set of all 2 by 2 matrices with non zero determinant then show that z is an abelian group under mul matrix multiplication but it is not an abelian group so here we are given that the set g be the set of 2 by 2 matrices with non zero determinant then we have to prove the g is a group under matrix multiplication but this is not an abelian group so first we check for closure property so a b belongs to g any two matrices we consider from g any two matrix we consider from the set g so their multiplication will be always belongs to g so their closure property is satisfied then associative since matrix mul multiplication we know that matrix multiplication is associative though we have this condition is satisfied then identity so identity is a matrix so we consider so identity this identity matrix we consider so here we know that a so this condition is always uh, satisfied in matrix so therefore this will be the identity element so now we find the inverse element so inverse of ma matrix a is this a a to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by determinant of a the element of this matrix is g minus b minus c a which is belong uh, belongs to g so all conditions of group is satisfied hmm? so therefore g is a group but commutative uh, matrix multiplication is not commutative so this set with matrix multiplication is not an abelian group next uh, we move to the example 8 here example 8 is let g be denotes the set of all matrix of the form so g is the set of all matrices of the form x x x x where x belongs to r where x not is equal to 0 so we have to show that g is a group under matrix multiplication a closure property so we consider any two matrix from the set g where a is equal to this and b is equal to this a matrix is x x x and b is y y y y 2 by 2 matrix so after multiplication we will get a b is equal to 2 x y 2 x y 2 x y 2 x y so this belongs to g so therefore closure property is satisfied then identity so we consider e be the identity so a e is equal to a is equal to e a for existence of identity we have these conditions so after simplifying this condition we get so 2 x y 2 x is equal to x so identity element is 1 by x so therefore e 1 by x 1 by x 1 by x 1 by x is the identity element of g next we find inverse element so let this matrix be the inverse of this matrix so we apply the condition of existence of inverse this a b hmm, means so we have this condition a b is equal to i hmm, is equal to b then b is called inverse of e so applying this condition we get this a b a into b is equal to identity element this is the identity matrix so after simplifying we get this after multiplication of this two matrix we get this so 2 x y is equal to 1 by 2 so y is equal to this 1 by 4 x so inverse of this matrix is 1 by 4 x 1 by 4 x 1 by 4 x and 1 by 4 x which is belongs to z 
So, all conditions of a group is satisfied by this set, so hence G is a group. So, next we discuss uh, example 9 and 10. So, here um, you have to show that G with this uh, ma matrix is an abelian group under matrix multiplication. So, Lana requested to solve, uh, solve this problem um, yourself. Similarly, example 10, the set of matrices, this set forms a group under matrix multiplication. So, this example also you try yourself. So, now we come to the end of today class. In today class, we have discussed what is a group and properties of uh, group and we solve uh, various type of uh, problem. So, here we discuss a group. Uh, a group is an algebraic structure that is a non-empty set equipped with a binary operation which satisfy certain postulates and properties of group also discuss in today class. So, next class we will discuss about subgroup, coset and normal subgroup. So, thank you.